Today's video is gonna be a fun one because I have been preparing for a while. Today I have prepared 10 different Van Cleef stones to be sharing with you guys on what are some of the weaknesses of all of the different stones. So you can use this video as a guide to help you make a decision on which stone suits you the most. Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. I know I am probably preparing um, this content for you guys a little bit too early, but I do think that we just wrapped up the holiday season of 2022. The holiday season of 2023 is gonna come soon because all of the brands start announcing their holiday collections around September, months before the actual holiday month. So I wanna make sure that you guys are prepared for this year's, um, as I have been thinking about this idea to share a stone guide for you guys of Van Cleef's, um, you know, different gemstones. As you know, we all love our Alhambra bracelets and most of it are made out of stones. So I know there's a lot of interest there and myself included. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys, you know, what are some of the weaknesses of all of the different stones. So I prepared 10 different stones to be sharing with you guys today and there will be one plus stone, which is not in their usual collection because it was like a one-shot collection. And um, hopefully this content will serve you guys as a stone guide and how to prevent stones, you know, from being damaged. It's going to be quite an extensive talk, so I've uh, broken down this into two. Today I'm just going to be focusing on, you know, the weaknesses or what these stones are prone to, so you can try to avoid buying the wrong one to be added to your collection. For the next video, I am thinking to show you guys how to really care for them it's going to be a fun one and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so I'll wrap up the talking and let's get to the content today as you guys know there are probably some favorites when it comes down to these Van Cleef gemstone Alhambra bracelets and a lot of us or at least I have seen almost I would say like 90% of us who have a good Van Cleef collection have all owned Mother of Pearl, you know, Alhambra bracelets, which is truly, truly beautiful and stunning. Price point is probably on the lower end compared to the other end of the spectrum. So the Mother of Pearl is very popular. So we're going to start to right there. Mother of Pearl is a stone that is very prone to scratches as the natural material of Mother of Pearl is a very soft, material as it's as hard as our fingernail if you will so it scratches easily and as you guys know there are natural iridescence that comes with this stone so in order to preserve its luster it's best if you try to avoid you know stacking the bracelet with any other jewelry because the constant you know rubbing against that stone might cause losing of luster and also kind of breakage on the stone so even though it's a beautiful one but it's one of the softest ones and the next stone is I have to say a lot of my girlfriends within the circle have been really turned on by the stone lately and a lot of them have added to their collection and it is Malachi Malachi is a natural stone if you're into crystals like myself I have found myself attracted to Malachi when I started my you know when I started buying crystals it is just one of those beautiful you know deep green stones that has layers of other green ring stored in the stone so it's a beautiful beautiful stone however this stone is porous so it means that there are micro holes um, kind of created along the creation of the stone so that air or fluid might pass by so it's a quite sensitive stone so imagine if you are consistently exposing this bracelet you know in water or if you swim with it it's going to kind of cause damage in long term and I have not only heard once but multiple times from owners of Malachi that um, either their stones has changed color it turned milky or their stone has cracked this Malachi even though it's a little bit harder than the mother of pearl as a natural material but overall it is very very easy to chip and it's very easy to break as well as um, shrink so I guess any kind of um, big changes might affect 
the appearance of the stone so you will have to be very very careful when it comes down to taking care of it and like I said today I'm talking about what you'll be on the lookout for you know to preserve your stone and in the next episode I'm probably going to talk about the care and um, how to really preserve your stone I'm kind of going by the hardness of the stone so the third stone from the Van Cleve collection I wanted to talk about is lapis lazuli um, it is a gorgeous shade of blue that is um, naturally you know born in the nature so this stone is loved by so many so many of us however um, the distinctive blue color is kind of the sensitive material in the form so that um, you know you need to be really careful when you're wearing your lapis lazuli because a distinctive blue color might change very quickly just because you know the exposure to chemicals or perfume on there could cause a change of this gorgeous blue color so you definitely want to avoid that the next stone is also within the blue family it's kind of on the contrary of deep um, shade of lapis lazuli blue so the next stone is the turquoise the turquoise stone is very prone to change its nature if it is in constant contact with any grease or oil because those two things could really rust um, the look of the stone which you know we definitely don't want a dirty stone so if you currently do own any of your turquoise um, pieces have you run into any problems with this stone I would like to know as I currently don't own any of the turquoise in my collection all right the top four stones has made it all the way into the number five in terms of hardness um, you know on the hardness chart so the next stone will be rhodonite and if you think that is kind of a new name to you you are right because this stone was just offered in 2021 as a part of the holiday pendant the rhodonite is a beautiful pinkish tone with a purple hue natural stone it is also a porous stone so it is very prone to breakage it can also shrink and it can be scratched as well however compared to the other four stones I just mentioned above the stone kind of like in the middle in terms of hardness so any stone that is harder than it could scratch it so just be careful when you're wearing it and the next stone is what I like to call it the blue lace because when I first found this in a crystal store I was so attracted to the beautiful pattern of it and it is in this last Light and beautiful shade of baby blue and sometimes you feel like it could be see-through and this stone is Chalcedony. Chalcedony is a relatively tough stone um, as it is a part of the quartz family but you should definitely try avoid exposing Chalcedony to long periods of heat as it might um, cause permanent damage to the stone you know um, the stone is relatively hard but you still have to put the care in before it becomes you know a stone that's no longer attractive or looks luster the next stone is also relatively new because Van Cleve and our pals has um, introduced this stone in 2018 and I've seen a lot of my collector friends on Instagram owning the bracelet so it's definitely on my watch list as well and I am referring to the blue agate the blue agate was introduced in 2018 it's a beautiful shade of blue but I know that it um, varies in colors so if you want it kind of like a, a royal blue or a deeper shade of blue you will have to talk to your salesperson to make sure they show you different versions of it because each stone might vary so it's natural materials that they're working on so you definitely want to make sure you pick the perfect shade for yourself and also with this stone you wanted to avoid any heat so don't expose it under sun for a very long time definitely you know you have to take care of your stone like how you take care of your skin so just keep it in mind and the next stone is another very commonly loved stone and color which is the onyx onyx is a naturally black color stone so it is you know just very beautiful however it's not a dull black because this stone appears very um, luster if you look at it you can see the shine and the luster around the stone so it's a very attractive stone and relatively onyx is easy to take care of but that doesn't mean you should expose it to any harsh environment like all of the above and I'm going to make a little summary because there are 
um, a few tips that you should apply to all of these stones at all times. Next stone is the tiger's eye. And um, you know, the name is one of those names that really attracted me. And when I saw the stone, I was like, ah, I can see why it's named. The tiger's eye is also a porous stone. Because of that nature, you should try to avoid any wet or water environment because the fluid can travel through the stone if soaked in there too long and um, that could de definitely damage the texture of the stone and also extreme temperatures like extreme hot or cold could crack or break the stone as you know you know there are a few stones that kind of share similar patterns like the chalcedony the malachi and now the tiger's eye they all have the stripes that is created um, during the natural uh, rock formation process so you can see the different um, lines traveling through the crystal so anytime you see something like that you want it to be careful because um, you know any fluid that you don't want to get into the stone if it gets in contact with it for too long it definitely might break the appearance the beautiful appearance and also the um, texture of the stone so that also applies for tigers and uh, number 10 which is the hardest stone on this list and I cannot believe it because this is the first stone that myself and my mom picked out when we started our Van Cleef collection and that is carnelian carnelian gives off this beautiful orange and red hue and it varies kind of within that range so to me it's a very passionate stone um, you know it's a stone that possesses passion and also beauty um, who knows it happened to be one of the hardest um, stone out of this chart carnelian is viewed as a pretty tough stone um, due to its composition but um, you know under certain extreme circumstances it can also crack or chip so I guess the tip for you know preserving the stone is that you definitely don't want to shower with your stones even though you love wearing them but whenever you're taking a shower it is recommended by the brand to not shower with it and also do not expose it to any soap harsh chemicals or cleaners or perfume because these are all chemical components anytime a stone that is exposed to um, chemicals for too long it will definitely change the nature of the stone do not swim with it because you know who knows if you're swimming in an ocean or in the pool in the pool there are tons of chemicals in there and if you swim in the ocean a lot of times it's you know salt water so that could give it a harsh reaction to the stone so that's kind of the general what to avoid on all of these stones if you try to preserve the natural beauty and the appearance of your stones. There is a catch. I have prepared the 11th stone, which is not really a stone. It is a material that Van Cleef has used um, and worked with in the past, and that is my beautiful pink porcelain. Um, Van Cleef has overall, in the spans of doing holiday pendants, launched two porcelain necklaces total. One of them is this beautiful 2015 pink porcelain and that was a year that I kind of felt like I won a lottery when it comes down to holiday pendant so I got my hands on one and the other one was a beautiful blue porcelain that's launched years after so the porcelain is actually not a natural material so it is created by the maison um, however I believe they decided or chose the stone to kind of show off their arts and crafts expertise and also to be able to work with a very hard material like the natural porcelain so out of all porcelain is probably even harder than the carnelian stone because it's not naturally formed but overall you know it's very sturdy in my opinion this one I can talk about you know um, my personal experience with it because I literally have not been taking it off very often I have been wearing this and unfortunately I also have been showering with it and sometimes I feel like a cold shower sometimes I feel like a hotter shower so I've definitely put the stone to test but I will say out of the seven years now it's 2023 I own this piece 
piece for seven years. I probably wore it for a good four years straight, um, you know, like throughout the year, every day. So I don't see any um, drastic changes in the stone. And also, if you guys are familiar, the hollow dependent is um, set with a metal back. So it is kind of preserved in a shield case. So only one side is exposed and then the back side is um, closed. There's not a lot of water traveling through, but if it's like a natural stone that, that you know, has natural pores in it, definitely don't want the water to, to store at the base of it because that would be a big disaster. Overall, I do think the color is preserved pretty well. And uh, in the center is a diamond, so nothing can really affect it. I think it's definitely one of the more durable materials that Van Cleve has chosen to use. All right, so I hope that's not too much of an overload, but I definitely want to share this information with you guys. As you know, I genuinely care about the brands and also the things we buy, so I definitely want to share this piece of information. Part two will be coming. That video will be focusing more on how you should care for each of the stone, um, as this one focuses on what can break it, right? So. I hope you are subscribed. If you have not, please make sure you join the channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I look forward to chatting with you guys soon. And if you have any other questions or things you wanted to share with me on the stones you own with your personal experience, make sure you share with me in the comment section below. I look forward to reading them. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Take care. Bye. 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 <laughs>